Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another demonstration of a short 30 minute. My name is uh, Céline Ross, and I am an educator for Genome Canada. And uh, I'm always worried at the beginning that there is, uh, I'm on the right, oh yeah, so somebody's coming in, that I'm on, in the right um, group, because Genome has so many Facebook groups that uh, I'm never sure, and it's like from one day to the other, I don't remember what I did, which one I choose. So Patricia is there, so I'm okay. Thank you, Patricia. Hello. So um, today, uh, today and this month, the theme of the month from Genome America was a fresh flower. Well, fresh is one thing, flower is easy. And uh, I was there yesterday, I was on yesterday alive, so I'm, I'm lucky this week too. So I'm lucky, I don't know if you are, but I am. So uh, I, I want to embroid flowers. I, I, you, you must have seen that uh, I'm, I really like embroidery. Yeah? And I said, um, oh, we don't want, you know, we want to take, we want to change um, technique. We don't want to do always the same thing and put a flower or embroid a flower. We like to, um, have new technique. So I said, ah, probably, you, you knew this, probably, but there's a few things I want to point out. So I painted my fabric and, uh, and then I embroidered. So I'll show this to you. And there's a few points. So I, I'm saying hello to everybody. Janie, I, you were there yesterday. I hope you're not fed up with me. Penny, uh, Gaia 3. Sorry, my English is not, I'm, I hope I'm saying right, okay? I'm pronouncing the, the right word. You know, it's funny, yeah, for, maybe for you, but when you speak French, it's like the tongue doesn't turn the right way in, in our mouth. So, hello, Sue. Okay, so I'll stop reading because if I read and talk and show you, I'm, I'm lost. I will turn the camera and... Here is what I did. <laughs> the easiest part is, uh, well, everything is easy here, but easy. the easiest part was doing the embroidery because embroidery, you know, the hoop and the machine does everything. So I, you must have noticed that I always work with, uh, not always, as much as I can, I work with built-in design. Why? Well, when we look them at the screen, it doesn't tell me exactly. It, it, it doesn't real, you know, it's a, it's, it's a graphic, it's a draw. If I look on the computer, it's better. But when I embroid it, wow, what is this? This is different. And usually, you know, when I do a sample, I do it on a white or red fabric. But this time I said, oh, let's paint the fabric, huh? and uh, we'll see. So this is really not my first trial, but uh, I'm not doing this up, uh, often. And I didn't want to start to do this on a garment, because on a garment, uh, I didn't want to destroy them. So I went to, in Montreal, we have a Dolorama, which a dollar store, you know, everything is one dollar, about, about one dollar. It just changed. <laughs> it may be three, four dollar now. And I bought, you know, a bag, a shopping bag. So cheap, huh? And before I painted, and I bought the paint over there also. So, so, um, you see, I went to read that huh? and I lost my mind. Gee, I hate that. So, um, 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 okay, so I bought a cheap bag and I washed it. It, it says on the, on the label, it says, uh, this is not pre-wash, huh? And it's, uh, you know, for, for what, two dollar, you have for two dollar. But I was so happy with the result because there's, not wrinkle, but crinkle, or I don't know how you say, you see? And I iron it and I use my press 
to press it, but it stays. You know, all this stays. And I was really pleased because it adds texture to my, to my painting. Uh, uh, really, I said, oh, oh, so this is great. Uh, to me, to my eyes, you know, everybody has a different uh, taste. Huh? So, okay, and then at the same store, huh? the same, I should say, boutique. Huh? I went to, I bought some painting and again, it's three, four dollar painting. Do you recognize this, this bag here? It is a free project from So For Home. S-E-W -S and the number four, for home. Uh, so For Home, exactly, dot com, okay? And they have an agreement with the Genome um, uh, that they provide some project to feature Genome, different model of machine, different technique, different feet. Anyway, so this I really like, and all my, many of my students, we, we did it, the, the girls in the embroidery group, you know, they, we made it and we're all using it, okay? So I'm using it today. I just want to point out to you if you want to do something. You see all the wave and everything is a pocket, huh? Anyway, sofahome.com, it worked to, to, to go there. And to visit that website. And this is what I bought from that Dolorama store. So it's not expensive, acrylic painting. It's for fabric and uh, somewhere else. You have to read it. And they have a website with a good idea from the same boutique. It makes me laugh. I bought these. And on one side, because the bag, I'm showing you only one side now. So on one side, I use this, and on the other side, I use the paint. One or the other, you know, I, I couldn't see the difference. Me on this fabric, because I washed it before, okay? So I'm coming back to read. Uh, okay, I'm, of course, I'm saying hello to everybody. Beautiful, I'm happy. This is so beautiful. You see, when you make it, you just hope people like it. Marlene, what kind of a long handle small clot iron? What kind of a long handle small clot iron do you use in this video? Well, I'm sorry, it looks amazing. Well, I'll, I'll go on the translation after because uh, I told you my English is not uh, so so well. I get by, but I'm not uh, flu flu fluently really, okay? So anyway, so what I did, I opened the side. Huh? It's just a straight seam. Huh? And I'm telling you, this is a straight seam. No overlock, nothing. Oh, she, it, you know, for, for one, two dollar, you have for one, two dollar. But it, it pleases me, okay? And then I, I paint just, I said, I want to do, you know, the monthly theme is a flower. So I want to paint built-in uh, flower from CM17, but you have flower in CM 15,000, 12,000, 300, 350, 400, 500, S9, name it. You, you know, the Genome sells, when you buy a machine from Genome, is packed from designs. And it's, it, it, uh, belong, it, it belongs to us, I hope I'm saying right, it belongs to us to embellish what they provide us and to use it with different color, different thread, different technique. Di you know, creativity has no limit. Huh? So, okay, so I painted and I mix up. So here it's like maybe a cloud. Uh, you see what I did, but just, just going a bit, just painting, okay? And don't add a lot, a little bit, and with your brush, you know, you spread it. If you put too much, it becomes, because I did it, I know, it becomes so hard. It's, it's too thick. And then if you move the fabric, the paint is falling. So just a little bit and, you know, just uh, stretch it. Okay. Then I went to my machine. 
Okay? And I said, okay, what's good for, what could be good for my, uh, for my, from my machine? What the flowers? Don't worry. There's a lot. Huh? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I should. Oops. I, I, I. You want to do good and you'd make mistake. Huh, Cillian? Okay. So I'll turn uh, here. I want to turn. No. No, 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 no. Cillian, hold on. Okay. I'm here. See? So I have this flowers here, but this one is with hoop SQ46D and I use 28D because um, the other one was not long enough and, you know, and I didn't want flower up to the end of the fabric because I have to close it after, huh? So, so I need to remove flowers. So I'll show you what I did. Hold on. The machine is coming. And I needed to remove one flower each side. You cannot do it even in the edit window because the sewing machine doesn't, uh, the sewing machine doesn't uh, allow you to do, to remove part of the, of one design. Well, if you have a, um, an application like, uh, um, uh, oh gee, I want to tell you, Embroidery Link, or the, the other application for S9 and uh, um, 15,000, well, you can do it. But if you don't have, you know, Janome Artistic Digitizer is still on sale until the end of the month, huh? Uh, so uh, you can, with the software, this is what I use the software because it was too easy with the software. So I removed this one and that one. And here there's no flower, it's just a stem. So I copy paste and I, I change the side, the side. Sorry, my fingers. So you see here, I copy, paste, flip, put it there and, and enlarge for the, SQ28 hoop, and I just embroidered it. Let's say, let's say I'm going to, I won't, but just for you to see. Look at the screen. 158 minutes. So the painting is nothing compared to the embroidery. It's not hard to embroider. But it takes time, you know, if you want to give a gift tonight, forget it, huh? choose something else. You have, when you paint, you have to, um, you have to let it dry. And I'm saying like an, uh, a night, one night for sure, to make sure it's dry. And when it's dry, the next morning, I iron it from the back. Or, and then when I saw those wrinkles, you know, after this, I use it, the press. And then for sure, I set my ink, my, my paint. I set it, you know, it's fixed, it's there. And then put it in the hoop and embroid, color after color. I did went faster, okay? Faster, you still, 1,200 stitch a minute. You still 112 minutes, and it's two hours. But it's two hours sewing. You have to change the thread, then you have to feed, change the bobbin thread while you're going because, hey, it's big, this. Anyway, it's easy, but it takes time. So I was so pleased with this. I said, oh, oh, I'm going to do the other side. But just before... I want to point out this here. You see, me, I have Janome color because when I set my machine, I set my machine with two things, you know? I really want to reproduce Janome, uh, everything that Janome, I'm a real Janome girl, huh? so everything has to be Janome, dirt red and whatever. So, okay, now, what did I do? Uh, embroidery, I'm sorry, I'm turning the page. And I choose Genome or acrylic or polyester. Acrylic, it was the first Genome boxes, and now they fill up with polyester. So that's one thing. And I'm going to turn my camera to show you those boxes. Oh, this is too big. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so you see, 
uh, you have three boxes there. And this is Janome. You must, uh, you, probably you saw this before. You know, I like when the, when my customer, yeah, buys a, an embroidery machine here. Of course, I present this and uh, box one, two, three. It's Janome color. And then Janome has 78 color. And then they, they refill each color or they complete their boxes with, you know, we want the, we want to match our fabric as much as possible. So, um, we buy another company to fill up in between, you know? Um, so I'm sure in every country you have, uh, Robinson Anton, the Mettler and name it. I don't, I don't know, but you know, I really, of course, I do recommend this. These boxes, two box came out, I'm, I'm old, huh? so they came out in a, uh, 91, 1991 with the MC 8000. And then one or two years later, they came out with the third box. So it's always the same, not these boxes, but always the same color that doesn't change. So I like to reproduce what Janome show me on the screen. Okay. So that's what it, that's what I did. Then I said, Oh, well, Celine, huh? you're becoming an artist. So let's do the other side with always a built in design. Well, I was really surprised with this design and, and you, you'll understand. So if I'm coming here, and I want to go to that, um, oh, if I show you, uh, okay, like this. Can you believe this is the design I took here? So you look at it, you said, what is that black, black thing? You, you figure it's flower, but then you try it, you look and you say, oh, oh. Oh, oh, it's not bad, but it is an, an, an angle. So I want it on straight and I want it really large. This is, um, I hope it's a word in English, a bouquet, you know, it's something that uh, uh, you give to somebody. Okay. So by just the graphic, you couldn't tell it was so nice, but now I'll zoom on the design. You'll be so surprise of I'll zoom look at the quality or or look how they digitize it's open it's open and with um, an outline it is so cute so it is light I feel this is spring so oops okay okay so this is I changed the color, okay, I, with the painting and everything, everything. And you see, I put a light green to imitate the spring. Spring, the grass is light, huh? in fall, it's darker. So I did this, okay? Of course, eventually, I'll show you something else. I'll, I won't close it because I start to not be happy with just one design there. I will add uh, some birds, uh, some uh, small flowers. I will, I will embellish this. You know that there is no end. That's all I can say. Okay. So I was really pleased with this design, and I worked with this design on the uh, with the artistic digitizer to change the angle and stretch and taller and play with um, a few things. You know to. I, I I want to be happy with this. I look look the way it. I don't know who's the, the the digitizer, but the, the job is so well done. So this is a built-in design from the CM17. Okay. So this is what I did, and I hoop my fabric. It was wide enough for that uh, SQ hoop, and I want to make sure to to remind you that the this this hoop has lev lever lever okay two plus the screw and i really like the magnet you know when you set when we set not you but when we set the fabric into the hoop make sure it's secure and 
you'll never end up with a problem. You know, preparation takes time, but it's worth it. Okay, I'll put it aside. And then underneath, I slide. You see, I re recuperate, recuperate, tear away. Okay, so I slide tear away underneath because of the thickness of this fabric and uh, and, and the design, I put two layers. And when you remove this, you don't tear. You have to be careful, you know. It, it, it's, see, the way it is, the, you have to be careful not to break the thread. So I always put my, you see, yeah. I always put my finger to protect my, you know, to protect the stitches. And then I remove one layer and then again the other layer, okay? I make sure I protect uh, everything. And then you go back to your ironing board and you steam it again, ironing board or press. So if you ever bought an Elna press from Janome or artistic press from Janome, my press is always open, huh? So the, when the iron is not enough, my press is 100 pounds pressure. I'm okay with this, okay? And another thing I, I remove is the cutting. I didn't want, I didn't want uh, those little, uh, too much to cut at behind. I prefer long, long stitch and remove the thread, okay? So, so this is what I did. Then, it was easy. Then, I'm telling you right away, I'm going to throw my needle. Because this is now stiff. This became, it's st you can see it's stiff, okay? And at the end, I heard the needle, uh, bang, 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 bang. You know, I heard this. So, I, needle is finito. And then, something else on your any Genome machine. So... I going to remove the needle plate. You see, I remove the foot. I remove the needle, okay? And I remove the bobbin case. And what a surprise I had. Maybe if I move the, the luminous here. Yeah. Okay. So full of paint. You know, powder, paint powder, paint powder. So here... You have to clean it, huh? And this is what I want to show you. And inside my bobbin case, it is a total mess. Maybe you, you don't see, but but I'm ready. So I said I'm going to show this to him. This is uh, just a Q-tips. Uh, but it, whoops, but it is full, okay? So you cannot start another embroidery with this. So batting, you know, there's fabric that have a lot of lint, but the painting is pushing the, um, the f should I see the fiber of the, the lint? Hey, look at this. Uh, where's my camera? Okay, hey, look at this. So I like Q-tips. Another thing that I did. So this one is not clean. Hold on. And I cleaned this one. I was teaching in French the same thing just before. And this one is clean. You can see the difference. You can tell the difference. So what did I do? I have a wet cloth first. Okay. And I make sure I remove, not too wet, huh? just damp. Okay. As much as you can. And when you receive your machine, there was a little tube inside. And you think it's oil. It's not oil. Okay. So, uh, it's here. Do you remember this in your accessory box? This till that... Oh, no, no, this isn't... Oh, this is in French, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's a cleaner... Okay, it's a cleaner. Okay, so you don't want this in your in your bag uh, in your um, accessory box. So I drop 
just one one drop and with my finger after I clean it I I rub every part every part on on the top at the big at at, at, uh, at, at the bottom you clean you know you really clean it's a cleaner and I guess there's a bit of silicone but I'm not uh, uh, a technician I cannot tell you but I know it is not oil okay and when it's when it's really clean okay well it's ready to be used huh? and then you really remove all the lint from not the bobbin case from this part here and you're supposed to not blow with the, with the um, vacuum clear you're supposed to, to pull all the dust when you clean it good then you finish with a damp cloth okay i'm doing fast but when when hey look at this yeah it's paint but when it's dry it's um okay a, a few things is okay and when i'm finished you see you have like two level here okay one drop and I turn my hand wheel slowly whoa, and I rub it everywhere. Make sure everything is clean properly, you know, very clean. And then you're ready to go. Don't forget you need a plate, okay? Because that keeps the, um, that keeps the, 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 the um, it's not fiber, but it's from the paint and also don't forget to clean your feed dogs because in between here i see the color green and blue i see it so you have to take a brush or the vacuum cleaner and suck it up okay so when this is finished you put everything back together and you're ready for the next project okay i'll turn again on um, on the ca uh, the camera on the and I want to go to the settings. Am I okay with times? Yeah. Okay. So settings. Uh, I'll, I'll turn. You see? Oh, it's in English. It's in French. Sorry. I'll put it in English. Okay. Okay. And setting. And I'm doing embroidery. Uh, am I okay? No. Here. Turn the page. Clean bobbin holder message display every 10 hours. Of course you say Anna, but it's not just 10 hours. As soon as the machine recognizes there, there's too much dust, it'll tell you right away, clean, clean me please. Okay? So that's one thing it should always be on. It, it helps you. It helps you. Okay, and now I'm going to just to make sure. So you wash your fabric first. I want I want to make sure I told you everything because I see my 30 minutes is finished. Okay, I'll do this. Okay, wash your fabric, let it dry, iron it. And I like when it's uh, the wrinkle a little bit because it adds texture to my... Uh, see here, look at the texture at the bottom. I'll, I'll, I kind of like it, but it's my taste. Huh? And then you have to paint. And then you let it dry. And trust me, one night, full night. Don't use the blower to, uh, you know, the hair dryer. I should say hair dryer to do. let it dry naturally. And then fix it with your ironing, but your, with your iron or with your press. Then you do your embroidery. Okay. And I'm using a tear, a tear away stabilizer and I use my one of the, the thread from my Genome three boxes, which is um, with time I still have acrylic thread and I have uh, and I have a, a polyester thread in those boxes. And then for sure you have to clean everything, the top everything of a, on your machine you have to clean it perfectly good okay 
and uh, bobbin, bobbin case, uh, needle plate, uh, through your needle because guarantee it, it's not pointy or as sharp as before. Okay, so this is a little something today. Um, uh, hold on, I'm turning the camera, but uh, hold on, I want to make sure. Uh, hold, hold on, I'm, I'm going with my message. Okay. Okay, I was here. Hello, Wanda. Hello, I really enjoyed this. Oh, good, I'm happy. This is on my list. Good, good, okay. It's a, here in Montreal, it's a long weekend. Huh? Marlene, it is Hobiko Custom Ceiling Iron. I have... Okay, well, I'll read it after because I'm, my English... Side 2 is beautiful as well. Okay, a tiny butterfly, that's true, yes. Really so nice. Oh, good. Nice. Now, oh, so I'm happy. Hello, Céline. J'aime bien le mélange des techniques. Oh, so Françoise Aubert. She's one of my, my, should I say friend? Should I say old friend? Should I say student? Ex-student? I hope she missed me. Okay. This is such good information. How to clean properly. Okay. Good, good. I'm happy. You know, it's important. If you want to keep your machine, you know what? I had no choice the other day. I need a machine. I need a machine, um, and I, I, and all my machines were busy. <laughs> I use my ten thousand. It's, it's perfect. I had no problem. Really, no problem. So, okay, okay, cleaning, and the cleaning is. Uh, oops, sorry. So, um, hold on, Francoise, uh, Francoise, from Dolorama. Okay. And the bag also. Francoise, quelle peinture. Patricia, thank you so much. A good demo and thank you for painting technique with embroidery. I enjoy and learn a lot. Oh, oh good. I'm happy. I, this is my goal. I want you to learn something and to try something different. Okay. Yes, friend and old friend. And yes, I miss you. Good for you. Too bad. You just have to come back. Okay. Anyway, I'm just joking. I like her. Okay, so I hope this, uh, it's just fun, something different instead of just putting an embroidery on a, on something. Uh, and, you know, it, it makes a great gift. And yourself, if you go shopping with it, uh, and you never know, maybe. You know, I have a few girls here in my sewing school. They make things like this and they, um, they sell them. Hey, uh, you'll never be rich, but uh, you'll eat, huh? So it's a good, uh, uh, it's a good um, idea, another idea, okay? So I'll let you go, everybody, and uh, see you next week from uh, for with other flowers, another idea, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.